I bought the biggest Funko Pop that they make. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So like I said in the intro, I bought the biggest pop that has been made so far by Funko. And uh, if any of you guys aren't living under a rock, you know what that is. Oh, take this thing out here. It's Batman. It's massive. It's so cool. These boxes were jacked. Um, I was looking at a bunch of them and every single one of them had some sort of imperfection. But in reality, when you see this thing, you realize it's not really like an inbox kind of situation. It's not something you want to keep. So I'm going to open this up, check it out. I'm sure you guys have already seen a little bit of it somewhere on the internet. But, you know, no such thing as too much love for an 18 inch pop. Man, look at this thing. Heck of a protector and man, it's so heavy. Like, I can't get over how heavy this thing is. Oh, so cool. I'm not even a huge Batman guy, but just the idea of having a huge pop like this. Oh, so sweet. Look at this thing. It's massive. Its head swivels. Its head is literally bigger than mine. I'm just hide behind it. Huge. But yeah, overall, I think this thing is pretty cool. Uh, definitely was a necessity for me to pick up. They have all these uh, all these uh, 19 inch pops now that are hopefully going to start coming out. Um, I know for sure Harry Potter is confirmed uh, by a few different places and I think I'll pass on that one. But this one right here, I was like, hey, why not? I like Batman. I enjoy. So why not pick that up? And while we're here, guys, let's open up some mail, guys. So mail time. All right, here we go, guys. Got a couple packages that have come in the mail in the past couple days. And uh, some are, I mean, most of them are from some good friends of mine. So uh, let's actually start off with the one down here. I ordered this on, uh, I believe it was Black Friday because they were having a sale on this website. Uh, and it was the last one that I needed to keep this collection complete so far. Uh, so I was like, hey, why not grab it? The first time that it released on, um, well, I'll just guess, I'll just tell you guys, it was it was Foot Locker's website. But the first time it released on there, it went pretty quick. But it's been sitting up there for a while now, and I was like, well, I'll finally just pull the trigger on it and see what we got. So um, I don't know if this is gonna tell me. No, this is just like a return form. But I think I, I think I only paid like twelve dollars ship for this thing, which made me so happy that I waited because. Uh, when it first came out, I was getting ready to like pay some money. Oh man, this is a bummer. So check it out. Here's the Michael Jordan. I mean, luckily this is an easy fix, but I don't know if you guys can tell, but in there, the little insert, the little plastic insert is for sure broken. Give me a second. Let's get this open here so we can take a look at it. Uh, it's an easy fix. Just grab another common Jordan and, and fix that in there. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah look at that thing but yeah so well, while we're here we're pulling it out might as well give you guys a little bit of a closer look at this thing but yeah this is the bronze michael jordan this was the last one that i needed to uh keep the collection complete so far since the unc ones aren't out quite yet but yeah this thing is so rad i love the bronze on it little color i mean the little imperfections that make it actually look like a bronze statue are so rad love the thing that glare on there actually kind of helps show the details a little bit so yeah this thing's actually really cool but yeah like i said this plastic insert is crashed so um i'll get another common jordan where he's not bronze and we'll switch it out and everything will be a-okay but until then i'm just gonna stick it back in this box it's gonna join its Jordan family with all the other little guys that I got. And uh, yeah, next box. All right, so this next one right here is from a friend of mine. You may know him. His name is Money's Funko Pops. Uh, I will throw up his uh, situation right here, all of his info. Make sure you guys go show him some love. Um, I don't have an FYE anywhere near me, so he is my FYE plug. Uh, hashtag FYE plug. Uh, hashtag Money Daddy. Hashtag you're the man. Dear Corey, you rock. Love money. Very sweet message. Thank you, my dude. So yeah, like I said, he's my FYE plug because I don't have one near me. 
And uh, I had to have this one to add to the Chucky collection. So this right here is from Child's Play 2. You may recognize it from uh, like the DVD cover or the VHS cover. I believe this was also part of the posters when the, when the movie uh, was originally coming out. But yeah, so it's him just cutting off the, uh, I was like, it's like a jack-in-the-box, right? Cutting off the head of the jack-in-the-box, uh, showing his toy superiority, I guess. Um, but yeah, love the Chucky series, love Child's Play. I even love those newer ones, so every time a Chucky Pop comes out, I have to pick them up. And I'm actually mind blown by how many Chucky Pops I have, because I have way more than I thought I did. Uh, I want to say I have, I mean, it's got to be all of them, right? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so this next one comes from uh, my good friends over at We Gotta Have Our Pops. I will put their info up right here. Uh, so you guys can check them out too. Make sure you go show them some love. These guys have uh, been collecting a ton. They've been picking up some stuff. And whenever they're getting like a bunch of things, they'll hit me up and be like, hey, like any of this that you're interested in because we're buying some other stuff. And then we usually get like a package deal going from whoever they're buying from. So um, it works out for all of us. And man, I love their, uh, I love their tight packaging, but it's also just like Frankenstein thrown together two boxes oh man this is a mess all right here we go um but yeah so i forgot how many how many pops they picked up for me in this uh, but it's a good handful so i was pretty excited about it okay so here we go um oh man there's so many this is way more than i thought there were all right cool very happy so uh, these, the majority of these are all from the same series and the same collection, uh, and they are from the movie Inside Out. So right here we have Anger. That's just the common Anger. Pretty cool, pretty rad. Uh, sadness. Right there. Adorable. If you guys haven't seen Inside Out, it's like one of my favorite Pixar movies, and I feel like it doesn't get enough credit. That along with The Good Dinosaur such good movies if you haven't watched them you need to watch them make sure you check them out so this right here is disgust and then let's get into the exclusives though so this is the well oh, this pop is so heavy this is the entertainment earth exclusive anger that one's rad man the glitter on this thing is so sick love it and See, this is Summer Convention 2015 Joy. She's got like glittered hair, pretty cool. Uh, I know there's still a couple from this Inside Out collection that I need to pick up. I need Bing Bong, I need Fear, and I think there were a couple of exclusives. I know there's like a invisible Bing Bong or like a disappearing Bing Bong that I need to pick up. So that was pretty cool. Thank you so much, those guys. Make sure you check out We Gotta Have Our Pops and make sure you follow Funko Collector Society because us, or me, myself, them over at We Gotta Have Our Pops and our other friends, Money's Funko Pops, are in Funko Collector Society. So make sure you check it out. Lots of good content from everybody over there. Um, oh yeah, and this is the last one that they picked up for me in that lot. Uh, this one I was excited about. The wife is a little more excited than I am, I think, but I'm definitely happy to have it. And man, I love these, uh, I love these tape jobs here. This is great. So this is my favorite uh, pop from uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. And I was, so, oh man, I'm so stoked to have this thing. Uh, I didn't get it when it first came out. I wasn't collecting at the time, but I am now. And luckily I got friends that are willing to pick things up for me. So this is the Hot Topic exclusive Oogie Boogie with Bugs. This thing is so rad. I love it. Uh, you can't really see, but well, oh, there you go. If I turn it right there, you can see the bugs kind of coming out of his arm. Pretty rad. Um, I will throw this with my other Oogie Boogies. I have the uh, OG common one signed by um the gentleman who did his voice and did all the singing and that so um but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i know it's been a while since i put out a video things have been hectic over here but uh i'm gonna try to get back on it i'll film some videos every once in a while i'll show you guys some love and uh like i've always said thank you so much for watching i appreciate it uh it means the world to me uh go lakers and why don't you hit the comments down below let me know what other 19 inch pops you would like to see 
so you can have a pop that's bigger than your head for your favorite fandom. And uh, also, let me know what you've been picking up lately. I love to see people adding to their collections. And make sure that you check out the Funko Collector Society at Funko Collector Society on Instagram, uh, www.funkocollectorsociety.com. We got applications opening up really, really soon. So make sure that if you're interested in being in, you uh, throw your application on there and we'll check your stuff out. And lots of love, guys. Thank you guys so much. And we will see you on the next one. Peace! This thing is like, look at this exorcist head. <laughs> exorcist head. <laughs> oh, Devin's totally going to put that at the end of the video.